Hi, I'm Scan Users. Today we will briefly go through the whole scanning process and show you two exclusive features for iScan HS Cutting plan and connected domain. They are going to help you clean up the redundant data faster, easier than before. So let's get started. Firstly, we need to create a new project group. And we need to choose the resolution. Here we just go with default. Since we are scanning a well hub, it's reflective and silver, so we're gonna choose the reflective option here. In preview phrase, we're gonna adjust the distance and see if you can see all the lines. If no, adjust the brightness. Here we can see the line clearly. So we just start scanning. So we finish scanning here. As you can tell, we pick up a lot of data, not just from the object itself, but also from the surrounding. And this part is the table. Normally in other iron scan software, what you do is you choose a particular angle, and you select the redundant data, and then delete it. But here we have a better option for iron scan HF. Here we choose some of the table's data. Just create cutting plane, fitting point cloud, and we got the cutting plane itself. You can drag it or using the slide bars on the left. So when you create a cutting plane, normally the data that beneath it will get deleted. But here we got another option here. The delete selected data. If you uncheck it, actually it will freeze the data beneath the cutting plane, which is useful in some cases. Like if you are satisfied with that part already, but you want to continue scanning on the rest, you can use this function to freeze that part you want you already satisfied with, and continue scanning. But here we just don't want the redundant part. So, the table surface data is gone. And as you can tell, if you continue scanning, you will not pick up any data that below the cutting plane. But we still get some small pieces floating in the air. Is there any good way we can get rid of it fast? Actually, we can use connected domain here. You need to select the object, part of the object first, and you click connected domain. Then you can see the object is selected. You click revert, the rest is selected. Delete it. Perfect. So the data is almost done, we can generate point cloud now. And this is the data we got. Pretty good. Mesh it. We choose underwater tie here. And this is the final polygon data we got. Confirm. You can save it 
or, or do some other processing here but in this case we just need to save it I hope these two features can help you get a better scanning experience. Again, thanks for choosing our product. See you next time.